Okay, guys, got my gear ready. I actually got a dentist appointment to get to, so we're gonna test drive to there. This should be pretty fun. We'll see how this one runs and drives. This is a cold start too. All I did was come out, roll down the window. Haven't started her up yet. Let's see what's under here. Got the 396 power, nope, power steering. It's got power brakes. Fits right in under here. It's got double uh, ground cables on it too. Of course, we'll be taking it down the road, pointing out any kind of flaws. So you know what you're getting before you get here. Look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. We got financing and shipping available. And for now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride to the dentist. Look around the interior before we take off. First, we've got the manual four speed here. This is the first time I've started this up. We'll give that pump a chance to get it up there. You got aftermarket gauges below the dash here. See the oil pressure's up, we're charging, temperature's low, and we need some gas. Showing 74,000 miles on the dash there. Tax coming up, radio. It's on, it's really cool. there it goes. So it is working. Blower motor. It is working, no AC on this. Wipers. Also work turn signals, left side, right side you hear it, look how loose that is. That's going to need some repair. Interior, bucket seats, back and straight, headliner, missing the cover on the light. Horn, place your bets, do you think the horn works on this one? It's a game we like to play on the channel, here we go. It's loose too. It's not hooked up. All right, guys, let's hit the road. Okay. Got my seat belt on. Engine temperature is up to about 150 here. This is the first time I've driven this ride. Clutch is letting out in a good spot right off the floor there. Again, no power steering on this one. Brakes, Ooh, a little touchy. We'll be keeping them in mind as we're riding along here. but it is very wrong. Oh, nope, nope, not stuck at 60. So, broken speedometer. Pulling to the right as we're going down the road. You see that? With that being said, the steering's actually kind of tight. It's got a very small amount of slack there. It's not too bad. We're trying our brakes out here. Brakes feel pretty good. They may just have had a little bit of dust on them from the parking lot, but they feel okay now. And yes, I'm actually heading to the dentist. I figured I'd knock two stones out there or two birds out with one stone and uh, get this video done for you on top of it. That clutch feels good. I mean, easy to drive. A lot of times it takes you a little bit to get used to the different style clutches and shifters and this one just feels natural so The drivability of this ride here is great. Easy to drive. Love it. Does have that right pull. That can be adjusted. See it pulling up the steering wheel there. The brakes feel good. The throttle. Plenty of power there. 
sounds cool. What they call this motor is a 396 slash 402. I know that's confusing. But that's what it's labeled as when you look it up as well. Engine temperature is at 170. Just sitting there. The battery's charging. Definitely gonna get some gas right after I go to the dentist here. And oil pressure's way up there. It's showing 70. I don't know if I believe it. It might be, but I don't know. Now it's showing 80 as you rev up. That sounds a little high there. Very well could be though. This motor sounds good. I don't hear any odd noises coming from it. The suspension on this one's quite nice. So coming up next, we're gonna get some undercarriage shots. We'll get some outside stuff going on. And then we'll end with picking out the flaws. So stick around guys. Well, I was going to get the whole shot. Bunny pulled in front of me. All right. All right, $25 worth of premium fuel in this ride here. For the 93 octane. And I do think it was pretty low. A lot of air came out when I opened the gas cap. I was like, uh-oh. But we'll see if this gauge works here. Shut the door. Get her started here. on E. It's still on E right now. We'll give it a little bit of time to advance forward. I think the gauge is going to be working. Um, so stick around. At some point in the video, I will show this gauge again to see if it moves. Let's take off. Okay, here we go. Got y'all set up on the head cam there. Let's go ahead and get my seat belt back on. And we'll roll out of here. Here's reverse for you. It's a good little hideout from the general public here. <laughs> there we go. Snatch it. Easily shifts through all the gears there. So the gas gauge did come up. Oh, I forgot I was supposed to turn there. Forgetting where I was at. Let's see if we can get turned around here. Make it here. Look at the turning radius on this one. That's awesome. 
wrestling. Wow. She definitely kicks over the tires easy. about the top of this hill here you can see Nashville uh, well you could we just missed it it was right on the side of those trees there straight that direction I think it's one of the biggest hills in Hendersonville I can think of one other spot that might beat it but I don't think you can see Nashville from the other spot <laughs> And we're getting close to Maple Motors now. Which that's where I'm gonna be picking out the falls. We've got good engine temperature sitting right above 180. Oil pressure's right below 50. All the gauges are working down there on the floor. Our, our speedometer is not working on the dash. The tack there is not working. Whoa, don't go in reverse, Nick. I wasn't rolling or anything. I just tried to jam it in reverse there. There we go. Got stopping in the middle of the road. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Alright. So here, we found us a good little parking lot to do picking out the flaws, and that's what we're gonna do. Look at the detailed pictures, maplemotors.com. Finance and shipping's available there as well, and I'll see you here in a moment. Thanks guys. Here we go, picking out the flaws. Anything I see, you'll know about it. Again, detailed pictures are at maplemotors.com. That is a mandatory thing. You need to go to that website if you're interested in buying this car because you can see a lot of information about us. And that's where you get finance and shipping information. So let's get started here. Coming around our front bumper, it looks nice and clean along with the grill and the headlights. Everything up front is in pretty good shape. As you come around the top, on the top side here, you've got some scratches right there on the paint job and chips right here in the corner. Coming down, we're gonna go down to our lower portions first. Got decent tires. You got some scratches here around that fender. Scratches here up top. Chip up there, coming on down, a little wax left over.
Tires are in great shape. The wheels look good. Back your midsection. Hello, sir. A little scuff there on the back. How's it going? Good. Oh, I'm sorry. You're good. <laughs> Just making videos for the people on the internet here. I've been watching it for two years, I know. I appreciate that. Not a problem. Got a couple chips up here on the back, a little scuffs. You got some paint runs. And what it is is somebody armor all the top here. Now you got armor all running down the side of the car. A little chip there in the corner. A little spot around the keyhole there. scuff here coming down the side a couple of dings I'm trying to get them to pop up for you on the video here coming over your top fender a little scratch there sitting a little high in the corner chip up top Couple dimples there. Going over your front windshield. It's in good shape. Has been changed out. The trim looks good all the way around. Coming up your pillar here. It's in good shape. I don't see any bumps. A lot of times you'll see bumps with some rust. I don't have any there. But yeah, what somebody did was they put armor all on it at one time, and it'll come down the side of the car. Um, I assume that's what they put on there. They could have put any other product. It's that back to black. I've seen a lot of people use that on the vinyl tops. You got some light little scratches there around that back window up top here as well. Coming up to the back of the car. Back bumper is also in good shape on this one. You can see along with the tail lights. I believe somebody's changed those out along with the front there. It just looks too, too good. Okay. And your jams, your seal is in good shape as well. Little chips there. Coming around. Down in your trunk here. That's a nice clean trunk there. It does have some extra coating of spatter paint. It looks like it has been redone. You can see your panels look pretty good. Looking up in your package tray itself, in good shape. Got some aftermarket speakers. A little paint chipping off there in the edge. Looking around your trunk lid itself. Up and around, not bad. Keys are in the ignition, so we're gonna go ahead and shut this down here. And it shuts pretty good. You've got some scratches here on the back trunk lid. This is a little scuffs. A little chip there behind the label that Pat put on. Scratches up on that trunk lid there, coming around the back. You got some chips here on the side. Ska. Okay, so my shadow's right here, so I'm gonna go back to the front and then we're gonna come back the car. That way we're not fighting the shadow the whole time. All right. Light little scuffs there. Like I said, the trim looks like it's been replaced around the front and stuff, so. Little reflection there. I thought that was something else. Chip here on the fender chip in the middle there which will be coming back up that section here in just a second coming down the side a little armor all a little scuff there should come off chip here it's also a chip here chips on the edge of the door there a little scratch chips on the bottom here that have been touched up in the back there's a light scratch all right we're gonna have to walk backwards now you got a, a line in the paint there a little spot here a little scuff chip 
and just point them out to you. Also, that's that one that's in the front there. Back up over the top of the fender. Spot there. Up here, below your pillar. Look at around your vent windows. The seal looks good around that vent window there. It's got some pitting down your pillar. I don't feel any bumps or anything, so it should be good. Front window on this one is nice and clean. You can see the trim all the way around. It's also been replaced coming down the side here. Ah, oh, there's a little bit of bump going on here, so you may have a little bit of rust trying to pop up along the back side. A little rip at the bottom. There's also a little bump there. See it? Coming on up. Mainly on the edges is where that's going to be, unless there's some kind of rip in the middle, but I don't see anything. On your back portion here. Back window looks good, trim looks good. Okay. We've made it around the ride. Let's go ahead and open it up, check out the inside, listen to this motor, and we continue this video. Should definitely do these uh, walk arounds in our hiding spots that we use. There's a lot of people walking up on us right here. You got a lot of little dings right there in the middle of that panel. You can see it all the way down. The weather stripping all the way around has been replaced here. Looking at your bottom of your door, it's in good shape. You see down on that lower side in your jams. Pretty clean. Your seat on this one's not all ripped up. You got some scuffs on the edge there. Let's go ahead and lift this up. Looking around the back. Carpet in this one, it's not brand new. But it's not in bad shape. Back seat, looks good. That panel there, looking up in your package tray. Set of Kenwoods back here. Then your headliner on this one is in good shape. It is missing the cover on the light there. Look it down, the carpet here. It's not bad. Pedals, pedals look pretty good. Got those gauges there. Purse shifter on this one. Passenger seat, not bad. Dash on this one, pretty clean. Visors, in good shape. Let's open this thing up. Oh yeah. Yeah, so your speedometer is just stuck at 60 at all times now. We're traveling through time, so yeah, that's what happens when you're traveling through time. You get stuck at 60 mile an hour. <laughs> Glove box got a nice little hole in there for maybe a radio. I don't I don't really know otherwise they would put a giant hole in the back of that. I'm not slamming stuff, it's just doing it itself. I mean, <laughs> it sounds like it because you're in a video here. This car sounds pretty good. Fiberglass hood here. A 
little stiff on the hinges, so I'm gonna rock it back and forth. That way it comes down and loosens up. And she's shut. Spot there in the nose, chip up here. If anything, it's sitting a little high in the middle. I noticed that while driving. I'm always cautious because I think that the hood's gonna fly up. I've had it happen one time before, and I just don't want that to happen again. So I always check it, and it's secure, it's good. But since it's happened in the past, you know how that is. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. I got plenty to do today, so I'm gonna be doing a lot more test drives. Don't forget to hit subscribe and share this video. If you're new to the channel, this is what I do every day. So help me out by joining us on uh, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram, and of course here on YouTube. You can hit that notification bell and get uh, alerts about all the new cars that are coming in. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.